All right, y'all. Today we're going to light up the uh, assembly square. And uh, that brings to halt the um, expansion of lights for right now. Um, and so I'm going to also maybe get it all lit up. And um, I still need to figure out what's going on with the front, front, front fence posts yet. Um, I got a couple things I want to order to try. Um, so the front's not going to be lit up, but hopefully we'll get the back lit up by the end of the video. All right. So as with all my other lighting stuff, I got this kit from Game of Bricks. Um, I have usually found their stuff to be the cheapest. They usually have some sort of sale going on. And um, as long as you're not going to reuse the stuff, I found that it works out pretty well. Um, I do have to say, uh, this kit was probably the most frustrating one that I have ever done from them. I've done probably 10 to 12 kits now. And this one was by far the most frustrating. First, the bag numbers didn't line up with the directions. The directions were very unclear. They used a knockoff version of the set, which is fine, um, except that it didn't always line up exactly. Um, and so you kind of had to rethink through some of that. And in fact, some of the places where they chose to pass through the wires were not the best. Um, there was a couple other just kind of random things that I felt could have been done significantly better. Um, and compared to the quality that I was used to with the rest of them, um, this one felt like below par, uh, way below par, actually. Um, and so that's a little bit frustrating. And I have actually reached out to them um, in an email. And if they respond with anything of use, uh, I will definitely edit that into the video description and maybe leave a comment as well so if you're watching this later um maybe check the comments or the uh the video the video the video disc just like description to um see if they have reached back to me with anything useful um but uh there was just a lot of things that i didn't care for the way they did this set um one of the main things that i don't like and i feel like this was true of some of the other ones but most of the ones that i had been doing lately were using black wires or white wires depending on the set and these are using the red and black wires which i don't really like and when i'm ordering individual elements from them i always order just the straight black ones because i feel like those get hidden better um and so that was a little bit annoying and i felt like um the the upper i felt like the upper floors were wired really poorly um, and possibly a little bit underlit, um, much like the corner garage. If you watch that video, um, I ended up adding some extra lights to that and I may end up adding some extra lights to this one also. Um, but we'll see, this one's a little bit different cause there's not so many windows with the corner, with the corner, with a corner garage, um, featuring, such uh, like big windows. I mean, like most of the most of the most of the outward facing side of that is windows, um, and whereas with assembly square, it's just kind of little tiny windows. Um, it's maybe a little bit less noticeable, and so maybe I won't add any extra lights to it. But um, I was just kind of frustrated with that, and then especially the way the bags. So the so the bags were numbered um, in the actual kit but on the directions, they were just labeled with what they actually were. Um, and so you'll notice um, that I actually had to redo the fountain um, because I had first put in the wrong light because there was two that looked similar and one was flashing multicolor and one was just plain, uh, I think it was warm white. Um, and they were both the same length. Um, and so I put in the wrong one at first until I plugged it in and then I saw the other bag with the other one that looked very similar. And then I realized that I had messed up. Um, so if you do get this kit, a um, couple of words of wisdom. First, make sure that you plug in your lights before you install them to make sure that you have the right ones. There is both warm and cool whites in this. And you want to make sure that you have the correct one going to the correct thing. Um, and... Um, making sure that you're measuring the length of the cables too, because the, um, all of the connector cables are not really, um, labeled or split out. So you have to kind of measure them to make sure that you got the right ones. Um, also back to the color thing, um, the light on the back side of the, of the flower shop, 
Um, and the original set is a yellow trans trans piece. And the LED that's provided is a cool white LED. And in my experience, cool white with yellow tra with trans with trans yellow bricks just looks like absolute trash. Um, and so I actually swapped out my um, trans yellow one by one stud or plate uh, one by one round plate. Um, for a clear one so that I wouldn't have that um, gross kind of like green yellow effect um, and so that's another complaint that I had about the set and usually usually they are pretty good about those types of things um, and so that was a little bit frustrating as well but um, it's lit it's in um, it looks pretty good overall like I said I wasn't super happy with a couple of things there's some weird wire passages um, from the floors on the double building on the right hand side of the set that just kind of pass on the outside and I just kind of tucked the wires around the back side um, I didn't really care for that the one thing I did like and I wish that more sets came with this was the USB plug was super long and that's super awesome um, because that makes life a whole lot easier later on. Um, and if you were just doing straight purely to USB, um, that would definitely be helpful also. Um, but yeah, so this one, um, this one was a little bit of a disappointment for me. Um, hopefully, uh, they will, they will answer me back in a useful answer. Um, and hopefully the next couple kits that I get from them are not as, um, poorly instructed and poorly designed um, but we'll see um, also sorry for the, some of the videography on this I kind of didn't do a great enough job of getting back far enough and it's hard to keep the camera out of my way because usually lighting is very small things so I'm kind of like sticking my head all like over the set and all around the set so it's hard to find an angle that works and is useful um, next time I might try a top-down view um, but make sure you let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos, if you want me to do more, if you want me to do a better camera angle to maybe get a better sense of these types of things. Um, also, the real-time run run on lighting was two hours. Now, don't forget, I had to redo some things, um, and I was not in a super hurry to do any of it. So it took me about two hours to get the light kit put into this one. Um, and I would say that that's probably a little bit above average. I would think the corner garage probably took me about an hour to an hour and 15 maybe. Um, maybe a little bit more because I had to peel the bottom off of the mills plate to get some wires moved around. So that might actually take me close to an hour and a half. Um, but the bookshop definitely didn't take me much longer than 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so, yeah, so about two hours to do the lighting kit on this one for me. Um, like I said, I've done this uh, quite a bit. Um, and so maybe, you know, I've just gotten a little bit better about it. Um, the other thing, and you'll see me use these, I have a couple of tools that I use. I have tweezers and I have like the pointy things that I picked up from Harbor Freight for, I think a pack of the tweezers was like five bucks and a pack of the like, um, pointy things were, um, I don't know, maybe about five or six bucks also. Um, they're super helpful to help push in wires, help kind of maneuver wires, help grab wires and all that. So I would highly recommend them as well. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at this, uh, put back into the city and see what we got. Okay, so after I got the uh, assembly square, gosh, I keep blanking on that name. Um, I realized that I'm going to have to probably pull this front off to get all the wires done because I can't reach all the way up from the bottom. Um, and so that's going to wait for another day. Um, but uh, this is lit. This is lit. This is lit. I'm going to start cleaning this up as I get this front thing um, cleaned up. Uh, I think I am going to go with the Technic ball. Um, but I want to order um, some dark bluish gray ones to kind of see what that looks like. And I want to order a couple of each and just kind of lay it out and see what it looks like across um, a couple of them. So um, that's going to wait for another day, but I'm going to go ahead and order some of that so I can get that finished up. 
and um, you'll see this all lit up on another video. We're getting closer, y'all. We're getting closer. We got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, maybe not. Nine more buildings to be lit, and then this whole half of the table's lit. Um, but um, anyways, that's for another day. So make sure you like and like and subscribe and stay and stay tuned for some more stuff because there's lots more things happening. Thanks, y'all.